Though the odds were against us, the tide has finally turned. Rise up, Gali Gamma! While Gali Gamma is more than qualified to fight on the land, she's unmatched while in the water. Her tough armor can completely deflect smaller attacks, and for enemies on the run, the Aqua Magnum certainly does the job. While in vehicle mode, Gali Gamma moves through the ocean with great speed and precision. Also, her armor cancels out water pressure, allowing her to explore areas of the ocean previously thought to be unaccessible. The Aqua Magnum can also be attached for extra firepower. So, you want to build this combination? Well, you came to the right place. Uh, even though the build on this one is fairly simple, it's actually one of my favorites that I've made recently. Uh, just because it's pretty well-rounded and easy to understand. But anyway, we're working on the gearbox right now. And like I said, it's pretty basic. We've got the yellow gears, black one on top. Let's add, add some extra friction in there. A few pegs, and then you can attach them. Now, uh, working on some little extra armor. Stick on the bottom for now, and the body armor. Now we're gonna work on the turbines. These are one of my favorite parts of the mock, even though, again, they're pretty simple. So you got these yellow parts, and you just stick them on. And you put these on the body piece and flip them around, like so. Next, working on the arms. This is neat. You gotta stick a uh, skull spider kinda in there. And if you do it right, it should actually clip in pretty well. So, give it a try. Next, we're working on the legs. They are technically triple jointed, but uh, because of the armor, it's kind of hard to notice. Put on some feet, and you're done with the main figure. That was easy. Right now, working on the Aqua Magnum. So stick some uh, little yellow things in there. Alright, you stick these panels, or spear, whatever's, on the side. You can position them however you want. Stick some armor on, and of course, the bullets. Just give her her gun, and you're done. Alright, now it's time to transform this thing. First, get rid of the gun, and you gotta swivel the head around, and then you gotta position the turbines in front of the figure. Next, you attach the arms onto the peg, and make sure everything fits in nicely. Then you can flip it on the stomach, and you gotta turn it around, or not yet. <laughs> you flip that thing down and the legs up. Make sure they're all straightened out, too. You gotta flip the feet around and just stick them next to the head. And after you flip the turbines around, you should be done. And if you want, you can attach the gun. Uh, you'll have to move that little armor aside, though. But yeah, that's basically it. So, this has been the 2015 Toa. Uh, looking forward to the Skull guys. So yeah, look forward to that uh, as soon as I can get my hands on those sets. 